peace to the family. It's great to see you guys. I'm still out here in Orlando, Florida. Visiting the family. That's right. Let me type some good things here. <laughs> What's up, family? So yeah, those of you that want the consultation, you know how the game go. Consultations range anywhere from 200 per hour over the phone, 300 in person, or up. Peace, Ron. Peace. Hey, what's up, family? Yeah, I'm gonna have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Just having a build with you guys. I wanna make it clear, when I first came into this, oh yeah, that's it's right in the pen. I pinned it to the top. Brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Peace to the family. Brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You leave your full name, your phone number. Yeah, so I was talking to my attorney and my wives, and they were suggesting to me that I may possibly have to get a restraining order, right, or order of protection, something like that. And I'm like, I don't deal with my situations like that, <clears throat> okay? Word. And so, the reason being is, my attorney said that what this young man is doing, it fits, it embodies everything that a stalker would do. He meets the criteria. He meets the criteria. Because it's one thing, I mean, everybody that's suspect, Everyone's suspect that's just constantly doing videos, videos, videos. But I understand we're in the internet era. We, my generation, mm -hmm. <clears throat> my generation came into the internet era. We, we was alive and was born and we lived in the transition when the era started. So this is still relatively new for people of my generation. The manner in which people go out their way to get attention. So, yeah, you already know. And you see what's funny? When I say get a restraining order from the male stalker, y'all done mentioned about three guys right now in the chat. Y'all done mentioned three guys. And I agree about all three. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I agree about all three. But the young brother, man, in particular, the reason why he's up for conversation is because it's one thing when you just, like they say, clout chasing and you seeking attention from other people. And you attach your name to other people's names so you can get more views. It's another thing. Like, I don't know that guy to have any views that's in the millions. I don't know him to have no views that's in the millions. And more power to the brother if he ever does something positive. When he's doing some positive power to him. Right? But people attempt to attach themselves to other people's personality. Put their names and their titles in hopes that they can flourish or gain attention and then they make this they have the great misunderstanding that people are viewing them because they're talking about somebody else but i get it i totally get it but when you got a a brother yeah he's toxic but the problem is my attorney's like listen because he had a good sit down i just came out of the conversation with the family not too long ago on a conference call i'm with some of my wives here with my wife's mother because we just visited her because we came out to miami for the super bowl and my wife's mother lives in Orlando, so I brought some of my wives out so we could just spend some time. She could see her grandbabies. Because we travel so much, nobody really gets a chance to see the grandbabies. So that's what we're doing out here in Orlando. I'm about to take them to Disneyland all over again. <clears throat> Been in Disneyland every damn day for the last, I think, uh, well, three out of four days. Today would make three out of four. Because we had to cut it short yesterday because it was raining. <clears throat> How would a strain in order be effective? There's different types of restraining orders. There's virtual restraining orders as well. Now, here, here, here's the issue, family. Here's the issue. It's one thing when people do videos, use your name, create false titles, speculations, post videos about controversy. That's one thing. 
and especially when they do it over and over and over repeatedly. It's another thing when you got these other guys doing videos talking about when they spent time with me. People that I don't deal with, I don't hang out with, people that I haven't seen in years doing videos all of a sudden like we have a present day issue or something. Those guys are just as weird. However, when you got people that literally keep making up the weirdest stories about their interactions with me or me calling somebody to destroy their life and we know I don't even participate in that because that's not my style. When you got a young man doing a video saying, hey, if you ever had a relationship with Brother Polite, if you're a woman that had a relationship with Brother Polite, please email me and, and let me know so we can have a conversation online about it so we can expose it. See, that's when it starts getting weird. That was one of the weirdest things. When we seen this, and I'm glad my man uh, videotaped it off his phone. But when, when I seen that video, all of that raised a red flag with us. So my wife shows my attorney. And it's like, you know, you, don't, you can't be taking the time out to send everybody in the YouTube world to court. That's just ridiculous. And I don't got time for it because it's not affecting my money. It's not affecting my network. Of people that I connect with so I generally just move on but now when I took the time out to really watch it because I don't be watching these videos I might watch a few minutes and I get up out of there because it's negative and I don't like to put negativity in my mind and I see another brother recently posted he wants to pull up on the people that's talking about him and I understand what he's talking about I hope he goes about it a different direction but I get the frustration where he's just pissed he's tired of people constantly doing videos on him and he's like look I need their addresses. I need to know where they live. I need, I'm going to pull up on them. Enough is enough. He mentioned some, some brothers and he even mentioned the sister. But I understand the vibe, right? And to those people credit, I don't know what the conflict is with him and them particularly, but I understand him and his, his anger, right? But when I, when, I, when I see this young man do this video, my man sends me the video and my wife looks at it looks at it she sends it to the attorney and he's like look we got to have a conference call he said yo polite you got to stop playing around with these people P because you're not really striking back at them they having a field day online i'm like yo it's this is what these people do for a living all they do is talk about other people that's they created a personality where people only know them from the attention they garnered from talking about other people controversy speculations suspicions but they like, yo, listen, this young man has went as far as asking for women that have been in a relationship with you. If anyone has an issue, he leaves his phone number and his email out there for them to contact him. That is absolutely nuts. And he's like, look, that's that's a different level of hate. And you want to watch that. So my attorney starts watching some of these videos. And he hears this brother talking about how I called this person. To, to mess up his legal situation and I called that person and I'm like really I, I called and I said hey my name is such and such I presently have a problem with such and such and I just want you to keep my name and my number and make it clear that I want to destroy his life that's not true I don't call nobody affiliated with him I don't talk to nobody uh, to, to try to contact somebody to destroy his life so my attorney's like yo I know you're not doing this I know this guy don't mean nothing to you to do this, but here's the problem. I'm starting to get the impression that he semi believes some of the things he's saying. And if he really believes you're out there doing all these random acts to destroy his life when he means nothing to you, and then he's out there asking women at random to reach out to him if they ever had an issue with you, and then he puts out another message. If you ever had a uh, bad business with him, uh, send me an email. He's like, yo, that guy's obsessed with you. And you have to be careful with people like him. And I'm like, wow. Thank you, Clarence Khalil. <clears throat> right? So he said, look, that's a, he said, that's an obsession. And then he seen another video where this young man did a video complaining that I refer to one of my daughters as my daughter because she's not my biological child. And he did about three videos. Then he starts calling himself exposing her and going into her personal life. And, and then doing videos about my daughter. And then telling me I'm a fraud 
because that's not really my daughter. She's that's somebody else's child. So why am I walking around here calling somebody my daughter when she's not my biological child? So my attorney's like, yo, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. And even more crazy, you got grown adults that actually support him and that idea that I don't have the right, even though I raised this young lady from the time she's five turning six, even though I raised this young lady since five, six years old, I don't have the right to refer to her as my daughter and she calls me dad. But I've been raising her and now she's 20 something years old. And it, it's not, I don't need to go out my way to the public and say, I want to make it clear, she's not my biological child. That's not how you raise children amongst your biological children. That's not how you do it if you don't feel like that. I don't feel like that about her. I feel like she's my child. I've been raising her enough for her to be my daughter. So why would someone have to do a video telling people I'm a fraud because that's not really my biological daughter and never considering you might be hurting this young lady's feelings and, and making her access emotions that she may have not suppressed but kind of subsided. It's been, she subsided those issues and she's, she's come to terms and then here it is, you bring in about public embarrassment to this young lady to remind her that I'm the one that's been raising her this whole time, not her biological father. No, we got a record of it all. I'm, this guy, my attorney is a beast, right? <clears throat> yeah, I got an entertainment attorney and then I have a litigation attorney. She's, she's phenomenal, right? But anyway, but it's just weird. So I, I said I'm reach out to the family. And you know, I don't need to mention nobody's name because I don't need I don't need that. And when people write that stupidness, I wish these two brothers would stop. Stop what? I don't do videos about this guy. He does videos about me every single year. The only time I did a video on this guy was when he was present in the video. Cause I thought we was gonna do a debate. He couldn't handle that little preliminary, and he's been in a tangent since that day. The only other time I even dealt with this guy directly was when he was in an endeavor to join my New Covenant community. And he was not accepted. And he's been funny since then. I don't know him. I never met this guy. <clears throat> Word. What's that you say? Marcus, he said, bro, I need you to take this man seriously. It's people out there who destroy good people because of their misery. You're a target because of your success. That's from Marcus Love Jones, Minion. Peace, family. Nah, that's beyond having to sit down and debate, brother. There's nothing to debate at this point. There's nothing to debate at this point. <clears throat> There's nothing to debate. And you see, the people that... It's, it's so wild because... Son of just randomly, he'll wake up one day, do a video and say, Polite did this, that, and the third. Oh, he just attempted to set me up with this one or that one. And I'm like, yo, if I'm doing that, there got to be a way to trace it or track it to make this come to an end. Because if I'm doing the craziness he's saying I'm doing towards him, that would be some obsession. That would be nuts. I don't know, son. And he's not important to me. But in his mind, he might really be creating this thing. I think he's starting to believe some of the weird stuff he's saying. And if he, yo, listen, I spoke to Zion Lex uh, three days ago. I spoke to Zion Lex. We signed that on the phone. This is a complete fact. He told me that the brother said, he told me that the brother told him, I paid a crackhead to smack him randomly on the street. And I'm, I'm, huh? This is my first time hearing this. So uh, this is according to Zion. I don't know if Zion's telling the lie. I don't think he is. I don't, I don't know why he would make up that. But I don't know why anybody would make up any of the things that's been going on. But I'm here like, he told Zion this. And I'm wondering, do he believe this craziness? Because he might actually be sick. This brother might actually be, he might actually need help. And the people that's listening to this stuff constantly, yo, at what point do you realize this, he has to be suffering from, he might be paranoid delusional. At some point, nobody's spending that much time on somebody like that. What does he have to offer that I want? Who is he around that I need their attention because he stay around those type of people? 
He doesn't look like he's making any bread. I don't know if he is. I, I don't, it doesn't appear. He does nothing to give me the impression he's making money that I want access to. He does nothing to give me the impression that I need to get around him so I can get around the people that he's connected with. I don't see him traveling like that. I don't, I don't see nothing where it looks like he's constantly doing powerful things across the country or he's always busy doing something. <clears throat> you feel what I'm saying? This is my last day here in Orlando. Then I'm flying out for the NBA All-Star game. See, that's how that works. Thank you, Tyrone Scott. Bashing each other. Why are you saying bashing each other? Where are you getting this from? I don't do videos on this guy. Stop saying stupid shit like that. That's what I don't like. You guys are buying into the BS. That's crazy. What do you mean? I get what you're saying, brother polite, but bashing each other. Bashing who? Do you see me putting my his name on anything? Do you see me putting anybody's name on anything I do? If I'm not doing a debate, I don't even mention your name. I don't want to be attached to you. I don't want to be associated with you. If you do it for your own attention, that's that's you. But I don't put these people's name on my stuff. I don't need them to exist. I don't need them. I don't. So the conversation is... Yeah, I remember the UFO shit. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm like, yo, he did he really believe those were UFOs even though those were car lights? And you heard the car horn. This is what I'm saying. Like, I know. Like, if I, if I were to speak... Like, there's another brother running around doing interviews about me now. Acting like a real whore. He acting like... Because I actually hung out with him here and there. When I say hung out with him, it's not really that deep. I helped his family when... Uh, they did business with another brother in the community, and they no longer had a home, and he had children. And I helped his family out with that situation, you know. And I'm looking at him like, yo, you're a real sucker coming out your face like this. This is crazy how you going off. I haven't talked to him in quite some time, and out of nowhere, he's speaking in the context where it sounds like I was just dealing with him. I haven't been dealing with this guy I don't know how long. And I helped him out a while ago. That's years ago when I helped him out. Show him nothing but love. And that was, and the love I gave him, that came after he did videos the first time around going at me. And I never did one video against him. And when he needed help, his family wasn't there for him. His friends wasn't there for him. I was there for the brother. I was there for that brother. So when he does these videos at random, yo, there's some things I can show that would really hurt that brother, man. And he got, he, got, he got one of the people he previously was in a relationship with, with children, constantly beating down my phone, begging, expose him in this, that, and the third about his personal business. But I don't, I don't believe in doing that. I'm not with that. That's their, burst, that's their business. That's he said, she said. I don't know if she's going to tell lies because she's hurt. <clears throat> I don't know where that puts him in, in what space mentally. But what I do know, as a black man, because I'm mad at him, I ain't about to do that. I'm, I'm leaving that alone. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> you feel me? I'm not about to do that. But what I'm looking at is, like, yo, where's your loyalty? Brother, like, I showed you so much love when you're in your time of need. Mad love. Why are you popping up out of nowhere just, just saying weird things? But guess what? In my, I, I see it for what it is. His highest amount of views comes from when he talks about me. And then his other videos are like 200 views, 400 views. So I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But that's not the way to go about getting attention. Because I, I, I let this other brother, I, to, to push him, I supported him publicly online. And I let him drop his science and share his knowledge and do what he do. I showed him love, even despite him talking crazy about me. I never think he's going to do it again. And now that he did it again, I believe he's doing it because he wants me to respond so I can attach his name to mine. So now people can say we're going back and forth. So when some of you weirdly say, don't be going back and forth. I just don't want you guys going back and forth. Y'all need, need to stop saying y'all because first of all, I don't do videos against these guys. And I definitely don't mention these guys. 
And today is a day I'm doing this video just to see, like, should I get a restraining order? Mm -hmm. Hold on real quick. Yeah, family, peace. Yeah, so I'm not into that. So, you know, these guys, they got to they gotta do better, man. But I'm not, yo, trust me, you think anybody that's talking about me that might be getting some kind of attention online, you don't think they got people that's mad at them that reach out to send me stuff? <clears throat> but what I look like, I got children. What I look like having my children see me digging for dirt to do a video to talk about another man. That would be disgusting. I'm a grown man. I got, I got babies out here. They can't see me doing that. That's nuts. That's nuts. <laughs> this stuff is crazy. Yo, these people are ridiculous, man. So I get it. But like I said, the conversation, I, I can't, I'm not going to go into all in depth what we built about on the conference call. But the, the gist of the matter is if a person is actually making up a bunch of scenarios where they're saying I'm doing things to them, what if they really are crazy? What if they really are sick mentally? And they, they got an obsession with me. Because I'm looking at this. Every year, this brother's doing videos, 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 videos on me. Every year, I'm exposing him. <clears throat> You're done. You're fucking done. Polite. Every year. Every year, it's the he's done video. Every year. And I turn around. And y'all cannot say that I respond to these videos every year. Because I don't. And in fact, by the time I be finding out a lot of times, I be like three, four months late. Like, damn, man, what the hell been going on? Because I be busy doing what I'm doing. I'm back and forth to Dubai. Hold on, family. <clears throat> uh, I'm waiting on everybody else. So once we're ready, then we're done. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm done. Once everybody's ready, we head out. <clears throat> you can find out and let me know. I definitely know Matt's ready. She ready to party. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, you already know. <laughs> You're done after this video. Peace, peace. Y'all some funny people online. <laughs> y'all are hilarious, man. But yeah, so what do y'all say, man? Y'all, What y'all think about it? Is this something to be taken very serious? I, I'm starting to get that impression. You know, I you never want to really believe... Mm -hmm. If you're a man, you don't want to believe you got a male stalker. But like I said, if a man goes out his way and, and does a video publicly asking if any woman has ever been in a relationship with you, if any woman has ever been in a relationship with Brother Polite, please hit this email and contact me. <laughs> that shit is nuts, huh? If any man, <clears throat> pardon me, yo, any man that does that is nuts. Yeah. There you go. Oh shit. She's it. <laughs> it's all good. Okay, alright. Calm down. It's all good. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn, so. Pit bulls being loose and all that is kind of normal. Get your butt back. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah, one minute, one minute the guy wins the case, the next minute is pending, the next minute. It's all, yo, this is what I'm saying. Look, it's one thing when a person's a liar. But it's another thing if they really believe the lies. And, it, and if they believe the lies and they're actually getting angry about their own lies and the scenarios that they're making up, that that might, that might be something to really look into. So I was just getting y'all opinion because my family's starting to have me sold on this. Because we have enough video evidence of him going out his way asking strangers for information about me. Right? And there's something to be said about that behavior. And that's why I said I can't go over all the details of the conversation. But he has accused me of about 17 to 20 different things. I ain't got the exact number. I know it's at least 17. Um, because in the, in the conference call, we ran down 
or my attorney ran down all the different accusations this guy has been making about me doing things to him in his personal life or having women call to set him up or mm -hmm. uh, crackheads that I've hired to smack him or him asking women who's been in a relationship with me if they ever had a problem to reach out to him. So this behavior is indicative, indica indicative of a stalker. And everybody's like, this is actually serious. It's not really a joke. For me, you know, I'm a brother. I'm here looking like, son is crazy. <laughs> no, but I'm saying it kind of like rhetorically. But everybody's like, no, he's literally nuts. And I've, I'm, I am starting to contemplate if he's believing this stuff, man. He might really need help. But I'm not in no position to be over here yelling, cursing, screaming, at, and, and making threats at him. You know. <clears throat> yeah, and that's the thing. People are saying he's doing his best to get my attention. All he really wants is my attention. And that's indicative of a of a stalker. And and then there's a there's a criteria for male stalkers that's very dangerous because when when men stalk other men, that level of emotion normally translates into violence and even attempting to access people's children and other family members. <clears throat> Yeah, he trying to, that's what I'm saying, he trying to ride the wave and all that. That's how I'm looking at it. Because, you know, sometimes when people come out of a community and some people do way better than others when they come out the community, <clears throat> some pe it's hard for other people to cope when they're stuck. And that's how I look at all those guys that do those videos. I, I be looking at them like they having problems coping with their failures. And they feel like it's not fair that maybe perhaps somebody else or a couple other people are doing it way better after some years time and they're still in the same position that's kind of how i look at the situation but like i said it, um i'm considering that it, I'm, i shouldn't take it as lightly and that the brother may really have mental health issues to the extent that we need to create scenarios or we need to just put certain things into place to possibly protect us from that type of mentality because he may actually be suffering from mental health issues at this point that's just too much videos and in fact it ain't just me he do videos about a lot of people but he's always on me always and it's always something but like i said the most alarming thing is when a person goes out their way and asks women who have an issue with me or if they ever had a relationship with me please contact them so he can have uh, talk with them and then uh, expose me and everything. Why would you want to? Why? What kind of man? What kind of man actually acts for random women that may have dealt with another man to please contact him so he could find out about our issue to decide if he's going to uh, expose or, or publish videos? About. How much more do you need to know about somebody, man? <clears throat> please protect yourself. <clears throat> nah, he never did. Yes, protect yourself. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just, I'm going to be reading your opinions uh, and your comments as well. I'm doing it now, but I'm going to really look into it. Because it got me really tripping. Like, am I really in that situation at this point in my life? And, uh, yo, I've had stalkers. Like, seriously. You know, but it was, it was, it was scenarios really rooted around my wives, you know, but stalkers is affect, affecting our family, overzealous people that, that feel they can be a better mother to my children. I got real shit that be going on, but it don't be often. <clears throat> and maybe there, there are some apparent ones that we don't, that's not so apparent to us because they don't really grab our attention. But son has grabbed our attention because that thing in particular started making us really look at things. And now in our evaluation of all the things he's be saying, because I don't keep up with everything. But now that I got somebody just really sitting there, just watching everything. Yo, he's he, he, over 17 damn things this guy's accusing me of. Attempting to uh, do something to his life. So, yeah, mate. You know, and I don't know how to get no damn restraining order. But this ain't about what I'm going to do at this level. Go out here. And say I'm gonna put hands on somebody, that's nuts too. 
Thanks for the love and prayers. You're lying? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Afro, what? Puff? That's not a puff yet. Yeah. Hey. <clears throat> Let's talk about this male stalker and if we're going to get a restraining order. <laughs> yeah, I know you down. You a woman. You down with that. You protecting family without me getting physically in anything. And like I said, it's a trap because I can't compromise the integrity of what I got going on to reduce myself to being on the streets. Yo, you talking about me? <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. And I ain't about to be doing no videos, yelling, cursing, screaming, telling people off either, because that don't solve the problem. So it ain't really too much other options. Like I said, plenty plenty of these young, well, not everybody's young, cause the other guy, he pretty old, that's starting to do videos and stuff, but. Yeah, and that, even that is stupid. If you're dealing with something legally, then why are you asking the community to help get you something that you say they off, they said that you are due? But then, like I said, then you do another video and say, oh, you never did win anything. Actually, it's pending. Like, this is what I'm saying. It's just ridiculous. <clears throat> yeah, you probably go that route. Yeah, he needs some counseling. In fact, when you see him doing that wild stuff, and when you see these brothers doing this, start telling them, hashtag get counseling. Or hashtag a male stalker. Start hashtagging this guy, male stalker. Get counseling. <clears throat> Do that. Tell them to get, get counseling. Let them know it's, this is stalking. This is ridiculous. Stop mentioning men that ain't mentioning you. I don't talk about you ever. You ain't, you ain't going to find no video. Brother Polite talks about such and such. Brother Polite says he's doing this, this one, that one. I, I'm not involved with that. I don't care about that. Yeah, and what I'm not going to do is sit here and get so overwhelmed by people, huh? people uh, doing these wild videos that next thing you know, I feel like wild. Just fall back and let it pass. <clears throat> if I ever see him, I'll handle him. <laughs> I hear you. He's not a threat, you're a king. After today, place your energy elsewhere. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. I hate you, Tasha. Davin Davenport. Davin Davenport. That's what they want you to do. <clears throat> yeah, I like how you don't even say their names. RK housey. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Because if you know they're doing everything to get the attention, the last thing you wanna do, even if you address something, you don't mention their names. Cause these guys be like salivating at the opportunity they can mention their name. Cause then they can say they're in an actual public dispute going back with you back and forth. They love that. They love to be able to say that. I'm not in LA, I'm in Orlando with family for now. About to go to cold ass Chicago. Like the boy's just an att attention seeker, like some bitch, says Andre Wellington. <laughs> I hear you. Have I ever thought about someone putting him to work against me? Could someone be behind this? Sue and I'll be thinking about that. Come to Tampa, dog. All right, y'all. I'm going to connect with y'all. I got to get ready to move. Family's all ready. I don't want them sitting in the car waiting for me. Oh, you must read the title, Diana, if you're asking a question. Read the title. The title is should. I'm asking for people's opinion. Should I get a uh, restraining order? Just watch the whole video. If you're having a question, what's this video about? Read the title first, and then you'll see. He for sure working. <laughs> Jeremiah, polite, get back to debating now. Sanetta told me you've been crying since I beat you last time, so I'm going to grant you a rematch. <laughs> Jeremiah, I actually like you. You crazy. <laughs> Jeremiah Judah. 
What's up, man? I didn't even know you'd be coming online. Jeremiah, if you are on Instagram, uh, text me your Instagram name, and let's let's do some battle on Instagram. That'd be fun. Let's go to Instagram, Jeremiah. If you don't got one, get one. And, and inbox me on inbox me on Facebook right here. Inbox me on at Brother Polite. Facebook.com forward slash Brother Polite. I never thought a crazy ass Hebrew would make me smile. <laughs> you are so delusional, Jeremiah, but you ain't a stalker though. I, I could say that. You ain't no damn stalker. You just you just delusion from that spooky shit. Yeah, baby girl know too. <laughs> Your videos from the pyramids killed anything you could ever make up. Thanks, family. Prim, prima law. I appreciate that advice. All right, family. Peace to y'all. I got to get with. I got to get with the team. Or peace to the team. I got to get with the family. It was great talking with y'all.